Hey guys, Dean Chase here with another geometry lesson for you. Um, it's going to be a fun one. Um, th I, I really do think this is fun math. But anyways, let's uh, bow our heads for a word of prayer and get started. Dear Father, I want to thank you for staying us. Um, I want to thank you for all you do. Please bless my students. Um, help us gain knowledge from this and uh, help us just have fun. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name, pray, amen. Alright guys, so today's lesson we're going to be learning how to find the perimeter, circumference, and area. This is lesson 1.7, page 49, if you're following along in the book I'm teaching out of. So let's get started. Recall that the perimeter is the distance around a figure. Circumference is the distance around the, a circle. And the area is the amount of surface covered by a figure. Perimeter and circumference are measured in units of length, such as meters or feet. Um, area is measured in square units, such as square meters, which when you write it, you can write M with a little 2 above it or square feet, um, feet with a little square above it, um, just shorthand, uh, save you some time. Anyways, let's keep going. So here's our key concepts for the day. These are for your notebook, you then wanna write them down. Um, formulas for perimeter, area, and circumference. So if you're looking at a square with side length S, so whatever the side length of a square is, because all the sides are the same, perimeter is gonna equal just four times whatever one of the side lengths is area is going to equal um, a side length squared, so a side length times itself. So if this was 5, it would be 5 times 5, or 5 squared. Rectangle is going to be, um, rectangles have two sides. You have the width and you have the length, okay? Um, you really get to choose what you call width and what you call length. Um, but anyway, so perimeter is going to be 2 times length plus 2 times width. Um, because there's two lengths and two width, widths that you have to add up for all the sides. Area is just going to be length times width, not too bad. Triangle with side lengths A, B, C for the perimeter is just going to be all the sides added up, A plus B plus C. Area, on the other hand, is going to be the base of a triangle times the height. Now, how do you decide which is going to be the height and base of a triangle? Well, if they have anything labeled that is uh, perpendicular, forms a 90 degree angle with the, a side, that's where you then call your base and your height. And that will make it a lot easier to find your answers because um, height is going to be perpendicular to the base. Circle. Um, in a circle, you have the diameter, which is a line that goes clear across the circle, or the radius, which goes halfway across the circle. Um, for circumference, it's either pi times diameter or 2 times pi times radius to get two radiuses to get your diameter, okay? Area is going to equal pi r squared, okay? They say that pi is the ratio of the circle circumference to its diameter. So I know we love doing stuff with our calculators, but for our lessons, for our homework, we're going to assume that pi equals 3.14, which like if you mirror it, whatever, it actually spells pi easy way to remember. Um, 3.14, okay? Um, yeah, I think that's all I really need to say about that. Don't, don't fall into the habit of hitting the button during our homework because uh, you'll come out to the wrong answers. So 3.14, okay. Find the perimeter and area of the dining room shown. So let's go ahead. Perimeter equals two length times two width, okay? So P is going to equal 2 times, let's go with 12, plus 2 times 9, okay? So P is going to equal 24 plus 18, and then lastly, P should equal 42 feet. So if you were to walk all the way around this dining room, it's going to be 42 feet, okay? Now let's do area. Area equals length times width. So the area of this dining room is going to be area equals 12 times 9. So area equals 108 feet squared. 
not too bad, right? Um, easy stuff to punch in a calculator or not punch in a calculator at all. Um, but this is what we're doing, area and perimeter. So now they want us to find the approximate circumference and area of the circular window shown. So let's go ahead and start off with circumference. Circumference equals pi times diameter. Okay, so the first thing we need to look at is see what is the diameter of our window. And the diameter of our window is clear across, which is 18. So C equals pi times 18. Or, I'm going to write it up here, small 3.14 is what we're going to punch in our calculators. Or work out by hand if you really want to. So 3.14 times 18 is going to be 56.5 inches. Okay, That's going to be how far it is total around that window. Okay, The next thing they want us to find is area. And area equals pi r squared. So we need to figure out what the radius of our window is. Well, the radius is just simply half the diameter. So half of 18 would be 9. Okay? So let's just plug it in. A equals pi or 3.14 times 9 squared. So A equals pi times 81. So the area of our circle is going to roughly equal um, 254.3 inches squared. Um, I hope that made sense. Not too bad. Um, just another pretty simple example. I'm starting to notice while I'm filming this lesson that I'm saying um a lot. Anyways, let's keep going. <laughs> um, example three. This is our longest example, so um, strap in and let's get this done. Triangle ABC has vertices of 2, 5, 4, 1, and 8, 3. What is the approximate perimeter of the triangle? So, let's start off by just graphing ABC, which is 2, 5, 4, 1, and 8, 3. Okay? And that's going to be, oops, yeah, A... B, C. Now, to find the perimeter, we have to know the length of every side of this triangle. And to do that, we're going to have to use the distance formula we learned about a few lessons back, where D equals the square root of X1 minus X2 squared plus Y1 minus Y2 squared. Okay? So let's go ahead and solve for the side length AB. And AB equals the square root of, we're going to choose our x1 and y1, I mean, x1 and x2, and y1 and x2, okay, or y2, sorry. Um, so we have 2 minus 4, and uh, we have that squared plus switch colors on you, sorry, um, 5 minus 1 squared. And now we just go through and we, we work this out. So the square root of 2 minus 4 is going to be negative 2 squared, parentheses around that, plus 4 squared. So AB is going to equal, negative 2 squared is going to give us um, 4 plus 16. So AB equals square root of 20, which is roughly or about 4.5. Okay, um, I hope that made sense. Now we're just going to go on and jump to finding the side length BC. So BC equals the square root. Oh, I'm going to do that in a different color, sorry. BC equals the square root of um, 4 minus 8 squared plus 1 minus 3 squared. Okay, so BC equals the square root of 
negative 4 squared plus negative 2 squared. So BC, oops, sorry, equals the square root of 16 plus 4. And if you notice, we're the same point here. So we know that BC roughly equals 4.5. Okay, I'm out of room on this side, so we're gonna hop on over to the next side and keep going. Um, I have all the important information already saved down. So we have AB equals 4.5, BC equals 4.5, and our distance formula over here. Now we just have to solve for one more side. We solved for uh, AB, or yeah, sorry, AB, we solved for BC, now we have to solve for AC. Okay, so AC is going to equal the square root of 2 minus 8 squared plus 5 minus 3 squared. AC is going to equal the square root of negative 6 squared plus 2 squared. So AC is going to equal the square root of 36 plus 4. AC equals square root of 40, which is going to give us roughly um, 6.3. So to solve this, all we have to do now is add up all three sides, right? Because perimeter, I'm gonna do it in purple, P equals A plus B plus C. So all the sides add together. So perimeter equals 4.5 plus 4.5 plus 6.3, which gives us perimeter equals 15.3 units. Um, yeah. There you go. That was our longest example. So uh, let's just finish this lesson out and get the heck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Um, example four. Mr. Martin can mow 600 square feet of grass in 10 minutes. Okay. About how long will it take him to mow the grass on a rectangular field that's 60 feet by wide by 80 feet long? Um, the first thing I want to do before we even get started too much on this problem is if he can mow 600 square feet every 10 minutes how many feet can he mow per minute so all we have to do is 600 I'm just gonna write it up here divided by 10 will give us 60 feet per minute okay um, I'm just gonna write that out I don't like the way that looks per minute okay he can mow 60 feet per minute now we need to find out the total area of the field that he is mowing. So area of a rectangle, area equals length times width. So area is going to equal 60 times 80. Punch it in, area equals 4,800 feet. Okay. Now we know that it's 4,800 feet and he can square, he can mow 60 square feet per minute. So now we just need to know how long it's gonna take him total. Well, we're just gonna divide our answer by 60. So he can mow, the zeros are gonna cancel out, um, 480, um, that's gonna give us, it was 80? 80 minutes, yeah. Um, it's gonna take Mr. Martin 80, minutes to mow that rectangular field um yeah let's keep going oh shout out to last year's class for giving me the picture of mr martin uh mowing <laughs> let's keep going example five last one guys the base of a triangle is 14 centimeters the area is 42 centimeters squared. Find the height of the triangle. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to draw a very generic triangle where we don't know the height and the base is 14. Okay. 
Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the formula to find area of a triangle, which is area equals one half base times height. Okay. So now if area equals one half base times height, let's just plug in the information we're given, which is we have um, the base of the triangle. So, oh, and we have the area. Um, I almost wrote a again. So we have 42 equals one half times 14 times the height, okay? Let's go ahead and solve the one half times 14. Um, 42 equals one half times 14 just gives us seven times height. Finally, to solve for the height of our triangle, we gotta move our seven over and we're gonna do that by dividing by seven. Um, the sevens are gonna cancel out. Um, what times seven equals 42 or 42 divided by seven is gonna be six. So the height equals six centimeters. Okay guys, that was today's lesson. Not too bad. Um, I hope it made sense. Keep following along. Uh, also, feel free to subscribe so you can see when I'm posting new videos. Um, I'm doing my best to start getting ahead. Um, so hopefully you can watch videos ahead of time. If you're coming to my class, maybe you can have some answers to answer the questions and work out on the board if you want. Um, anyways, you guys, have a good day and see ya!